Nigeria or oh, Nigeria. This is the second part of uh, needed. One standard hospital passed it. Two days after I started taking the medication prescribed by Dr. Heber, I could lift myself out of the wheelchair and walk about. By the fifth day, I walked into the hospital, gingerly but surely, and came face to face with Dr. Heber, who was not even surprised to see me on my feet on her way to buy a cappuccino, I guessed. We went to the waiting area and waited to be called in to see her. She soon returned, holding a cup of her drink. She asked me certain questions and, after taking my vitals, sent me to go for a spirometry flow volume test, known as long function test. One interesting and commendable attribute of Saudi hospitals, not least the Saudi German, is that you do not have to come the next day for your test results. Once they admit you, ask fundamental questions and register your vitals, they start conducting tests. It is test upon test because once a result comes out, then another test will be conducted based on that result until they narrow down and nail the ailment. Anytime they start, they can take 24 hours at a stretch, each team handing your case over to the next shift. And if you got tired and ran off to return the next day, as I once did, they will begin with you from the very beginning. Not from where you ran off. The syringe punches, cannula, bandages, x-rays and all. I asked why and I was told anything could have happened in your system since you left that could render yesterday's results no more tenable. Well, back to spirometry. After the result came out, Dr. Heber, who had earlier said she would be going for a quick break, decided to postpone it to attend to us. After studying the result, she recommended pulmonary rehabilitation, which is physiotherapy and hydrotherapy. She decided to send me to the head of the unit, whose schedule was full for the month, but who decided to accept me nonetheless. And so we met him, small build with baldness setting in, and a face full of smiles. Dr. Amjad al qurtabi was a sportish, friendly, and easygoing fellow who was ever willing to do his job. One thing with the medical personnel at the Saudi German hospital is that, apart from being professional and willing to be of assistance, they are friendly, going a long way to make you feel comfortable at home and cared for. A man may be excused to think the female personnel have fallen for him, and you do not feel any obligation or indebtedness to them. For the first time in my interactions with health workers, all the rest been back in Nigeria, of course, I never felt they were doing me a favor. Or oh, there was the need to dip my hands into my pockets to appreciate a health caregiver. Dr. Amjad, I learned, is a descendant of the author of a book on fiqh, that's Islamic jurisprudence, called Qurtabi, written in poetic form. It is one of those primary books study to deepen knowledge of jurisprudence and also to learn the Arabic language. I got to know this because, out of curiosity, I told him that the name Kurutabi rang a bell, to which he opened up on his relationship with the famed author. 
for those who might have read it, the book, Kurtabi, named after the town of the old home, Sheikh Allama Yahya bin Isaac bin Yahya al started with Yaqulu Yahya al Kurtabi Yudari al Murtaji Masubat al Ghafari bi ismi al Ilahi Abdaul Makala Faminhu Arjul Afwa wal Ifdala which when translated means says Yahya who lives domiciled that is domiciled in Kurtabi a man expecting or desirous of reward and forgiveness from Allah. In the name of Allah, I am starting this discussion. From him, I am expecting sympathy and greatness. Kurutabi was the name of Cordoba in Spain. And Spain itself was called Andalusia at the time when the country was an Islamic nation. Well, Dr. al Qurtabi went through the process of physically breaking the mucus that filled my lungs so that they could get expectorated and give relief to my lungs and chest. That will also allow me to breathe easily, which will reduce the shortness of breath, or SOV, I struggle with due to insufficient oxygen. My ailment found out to be chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD. It's a non-communicable, irreversible, chronic inflammatory lung disease that causes airflow blockage, emphysema, and chronic bronchitis. And so one has to imbibe a lifetime habit of pulmonary rehabilitation. And that was what Dr. Amjad al Kutabi set out to put me through. After massaging my chest to loosen the mucus, he handed me over to Coach Khalid, the man in charge of both therapies. Even though he's more fluent in Arabic, we hit it off instantly as friends because I saw in him a man enthusiastic to nurse me back to health. I could see happiness in his eyes at my progress and pride all over his face that he was part of it. The first set of physiotherapy consisted of sessions on the treadmill, spinner bike, and exercises on deep breathing. Next was hydrotherapy, where I was made to undergo various sessions and exercises in a heated swimming pool with a jacuzzi, leading to full swimming and holding my breath for a time underwater. After about 10 days at it, I became strong enough to perform the Umrah, and after two weeks, when Dr. Heber called for another LFT, that's a lung function test, it was found out that my lung function had improved by over 30%. No wonder the physiotherapy department of the Maka Saudi German is the best in the Saudi German chain. I still believe we can have hospitals with the standard of the Saudi German here. And what can hinder us from achieving such a feat? Three things make the Saudi German great. Adequate infrastructure, modern equipment for service delivery, and wonderful, well-trained human resources with the right attitude in tow. I believe that each of our states can build at least one great hospital and invite the Saudi German to equip and manage them for a certain period. While doing that, our citizens will receive the best on the job training after graduation and may further benefit from exchange programs with the franchise. All this will allow them to internalize the concept of global best practices in healthcare delivery. That will be a win-win situation for us and will in no small measure galvanize our development individually and as a nation, because a healthy nation is a wealthy one. Thank you.